Hundreds of baby turtles are dying from extreme heat at one of Australia's most important breeding sites. Sand at Monropo Beach in southern Queensland has been topping 75 degrees and the hatchlings are struggling to cope. These are some of the lucky ones, but their brothers and sisters haven't been so fortunate. Soaring heat waves have been fatal for piles of hatchlings this season. We're seeing a lot of uh, turtles dying, little hatchlings dying in the nest or dying as they're trying to run across the beach. Sand surface temperatures of up to 75 degrees over the past few weeks are the highest ever recorded. And that heat conducts down to where the eggs are and so we're now getting temperatures in that sort of 33, 34 degree range which is approaching the lethal level for the, the incubation. Volunteers, scientists and rangers have been working around the clock to save as many as they can. Digging up the overheated nests, sorting the dead from the living and giving the survivors a helping hand. If they're lower down the nest where it's a bit cooler, we might get those hatched successfully, but then we'll have other eggs that may have begun development but then stopped due to the heat. They can't sweat, they can't pant. So they've got no mechanism for cooling like we have. Large shade cloths are also being used this year to protect new nests. The covers cool the sand surface temperature by up to 30 degrees. So at the moment, any turtle that comes ashore and nests, we're relocating those eggs back into a shade shelter. This is the most important breeding site for loggerhead turtles in the South Pacific. About 200,000 eggs are laid at Monropo every season. But this year, the average hatchling survival rate of 85% is expected to be much lower. For now, they're waiting anxiously for rain to give more of these young turtles a fighting chance. Jess Lodge, ABC News, Bundaberg.